More than 100 children listened to the stories of two different moms who had sons with experiences needing CPR. Now all of the children learned this life-saving skill and got one of these to take home to continue practicing their skills on. Several children gathered around to learn just how important knowing CPR can be. I feel Hezekiah's loss every day. The loss of his life, I can't get him back but I definitely can share his vision and make other people vigilant for their life. Phyllis Walters lost her son Hezekiah in 2019 during a football practice. My son took his last breath on the football field in the heat, heat exhaustion, and it's important for me to bring awareness to youth and parents. She says everyone needs to know what to do in case of an emergency. Making sure that CPR is in the forefront before they get out there with the sports and panic and not know what to do. Because of CPR training like this one, Bismeri Lentigua says her son Ansel's life was saved. If that happened in my house, maybe we don't have the lucky study because I don't take the class before and it's extremely important. She says her son Ansel collapsed at a track practice earlier this year and she will forever be grateful for those who were trained to help. All children attending were taught step by step on how to perform CPR if someone at home or in public needs it. This is not uh, something you do for enjoy, but it's something you do for you keep people alive. And the difference between CPR and no CPR is just life. The American Heart Association says one of the best things you can do after leaving a class like this is to go home and share your knowledge with someone else. Take these home, practice on them in case you ever have to use it. In Hillsborough County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.